it's Alex from Risk Academy. And today I wanted to talk about whether risk registers are useful or not. In my personal opinion, they are not, and I'll explain why. If done incorrectly, risk registers are a complete waste of time. But if done correctly, at best, it is a duplication of effort. And uh, th there are a few reasons why I'm saying that, so let me break it down. As I'm sure you appreciate, the fundamental purpose of risk management is not to create a separate stream of work dedicated to management of risk. It is instead uh, a tool, a way to change how um, employees behave and how business operates with risks in mind. So that's a big difference. Um, on one side, which is, I think is an incorrect perception, creating a separate stream of work dedicated to purely managing risk, which for some bizarre reason supposedly should be separate from your normal day-to-day -day activities, or option B, changing how the company operates, changing how the humans in the workplace behave based on the new information on, or on risks. So I hope you would agree that it is the option B that is the fundamental idea of, uh, of risk management. So if that is the case, then we really need to start rethinking on how we use or whether we use at all risk registers or not. Because what risk registers do is they, they capture all the information about risks, they capture you know, an assessment of those risks in terms of the, the effect on objectives, and uh, they capture a number of mitigation strategies with risk owners, etc., etc. And what they do is they put it in a separate standalone document as opposed to what they should have been done, what risk managers should be doing, is capturing risk information at the point where the business operations are captured. So, for example, let, let's take an annual report or a management report. Uh, one option is uh, reporting on the business uh, KPIs, objectives, uh, targets, action plans, and then having a section on risk management. And I think this is sort of more with the traditional risk management and may not be correct. Or option B is talking about risks and actions required to mitigate those risks then and there where you talk about performance. So in your management report, for example, you would talk about risks associated with the commercial side of your business um, when you talk about the sales projections, uh, forecasts, uh, plan fact analysis, etc., etc., and your um, commercial KPIs. You will talk about financial risks when you talk about financial KPIs. And if that is done correctly, all your mitigation strategies would kind of dissolve into the action plans that you would have in the financial section, operational section, commercial section, um, or s some other areas of the, of the document. And same with the annual report. Option A, is to have a separate risk register inside the annual report or you could report on those risks and on those mitigations in different sections of the annual report when you talk about key strategic objectives. So summarizing, su summarizing uh, this, little, uh, this little video, uh, I think that risk register is a nice internal tool for the risk manager himself to keep everything organized in one place but as far as business is concerned, all those risks and all those mitigations should really dissolve into the textual description of the business KPIs, into some sort of operational sections of different reports, and the mitigation plans should not be treated as a separate risk mitigation uh, document, but should really dissolve into action plans that business units have, or the company may have an overall uh, a business plan with specific uh, action points. So that's, um, that's my idea on, on having risk registers. They're good for internal use, but as far as business is concerned, they're kind of contradictive to this overall message of integration into the business. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more videos like that, do subscribe to YouTube channel for Risk Academy on, um, on, on, on YouTube. And uh, if you agree or disagree, leave some comments in the comment section below this video. Thank you and goodbye.